Hi everyone, in this video I want to cover how to replace a cellular radio on your Vista alarm system. Before we start, there are several things you'll need. A Phillips head screwdriver, the alarm box key. You will also want to call your monitoring company and have them put your alarm system in test mode. Now, locate your main alarm box and radio. The radio might be mounted on top of the alarm box as seen here. If the radio is not mounted on the alarm box, it may be mounted in a remote location within the residence, often in a closet or garage area, usually on the main floor or higher. If the radio is mounted separately, you will not need to open the main alarm box and the new radio can simply be mounted in place of the old one. Once you locate and open the radio's cover, you may want to take a picture to reference the wiring. If you cannot locate your radio, please contact your security professional for assistance. If your radio is mounted on top of the main alarm box, open the alarm box. If your radio has an antenna connection on top, you can remove this piece and set it to the side as we will not need it. Loosen the locking screw on the front of the radio and open the cover. Remove the plug from the communicator and pull it back into the main alarm box. When removing the plug, your alarm system may go into trouble and start beeping. You can silence these trouble sounds by entering your user code and the number one key on your alarm system keypad. If you have a second plug here, you can remove it and set it to the side as we will not need it. To remove the old radio, twist it counterclockwise and unscrew the locking nut underneath. We can now prepare the new radio for installation. If your radio was mounted remotely, you can set aside the hardware package. If your radio was mounted on top of the main alarm box, you will need the threaded mount and locking nut located in the hardware package. Loosen the locking screw on the new radio and open the cover. Mount the new radio where the old one was on top of the main alarm box. Once the locking nut is hand tightened, twist the radio clockwise to tighten it fully. If the radio is not mounted on the main alarm box as seen here, please route the wire in the same manner it was on the old radio. Loosen the locking screw on the front of the radio and open the cover. You can now reconnect the wire that we pulled into the main alarm box earlier. Please make sure that the plug is in the proper orientation. The green wire should be on the left hand side. Your radio will now start to power up and the LEDs will cycle. Please be patient as it can take up to 15 minutes for the radio to fully initialize. Once fully initialized, your top LED should be solid green the LED below that should be flashing yellow, and the bottom LED should be solid green. You can now complete the registration of your radio. Tap the button located in the lower left corner of the radio three times. The timing should be tap, tap, tap. If the registration successfully starts, the yellow and green LEDs will flash in unison. Once the registration is complete, the top green LED will be off, the yellow LED in the middle will be flashing, and the red LED below that will be off. You can now close the door on your radio and main alarm box. You can also clear any troubles on your alarm system keypad by entering your user code and the number one key two times. 
The final step is to test alarm signals with your monitoring company. If they confirm signals, your radio has been successfully replaced. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.